four places. Even though they lie 11, they're just four points off their opponents. Heart of Lions who are in fifth. And as the teams come out, Comasia Santiago de know this is a match of redemption, no doubt. This to Heart of Oak and King Faso, you can see three losses in their last five in the 11th. That is certainly not a good position for Comasia Santiago de 31 points out of 23 matches played. And for Lions, they are in fourth, or should I say fifth, with three wins out of the last five. And obviously, they would want to prove a point here. Yeah, they're actually fit, to be honest. Uh, 35 points they do have, and they also want to enter into the top four. It's a very tight league, one of the tightest leagues we've had in years, but one of the worst seasons Kodoko are having in recent times. They need to win this afternoon. Of course, match day 24 of the Global Premier League. You can see the Kodoko players saying their last prayers. And of course, we look at the lineups, we see plenty of changes. Only Michael Opusopia surviving from the back four. Prince Anoche is back, Nia J. Jordan Opoku in there, a return for Bafojan and Francis Kofi. And for Heart of Lions, Stephen Aholu, the national local goalkeeper, is in there. So is Godfrey Roxon, John Kufo. Osei Barahene is back, so is Tanko Mohamed, under the coaching leadership of Orlando Wellington. And this is the man who is, is fast becoming one of the top referees in Ghana football, Samuel K. Jesse. And certainly he will be hoping to have another good game. The headmaster from Nsawam certainly has a lot to prove. He'll be assisted by uh, Ibrahim Adams Bedou of Wa and Joseph Se of Sinai. And that is a man in the middle. You take a look at the benches of both sides and clearly still some experience in there. And this is Orlando Wellington. He assisted Celeste to win the uh, World Youth Cup for the Black Satellites. And he took over from Parkwisi Fabian when Parkwisi left to join Koroko. And he's not done a bad job at all, I have to say. And we welcome once again, my name is Christopher Pokun. I've been joined by my, my uh, conspirator in crime, Nanajiman. Good to have you here this afternoon. A crucial great, match. It's great to be here, Chris. It's a crucial match indeed. Pando Hart. Oh, Sophie, I was thinking about a cross. Beats this man. Oh, great play. Oh, superb. That is marvelous. Absolute brilliance. Francis Kofi has converted and caught up a story for the first time in three games. Well, what a goal, Chris. What a great goal. I told you it takes something spectacular. A fantastic wall pass. And driven firmly into the back of the net beyond the outstretched arms of the Holu. That is as good a goal as you would ever see this season. Marvellous, absolute brilliance. Well, tucked away delightfully. Broke the Panda Heart of Lions defence down here. We see from the replay, a wonderful wall pass. And once again, a left foot strike from Kofi. Straight into the back of the net. That was brilliantly taken. And look at the choreograph celebration. <laughs> Of course, all mixed with, it, with, with some relief because they have not scored in 180 minutes before now. And now, Kodoko probably might be thinking, hang on, we've got three points in the bag over here. Well, it's not done and dusted, Chris. Still plenty of time to go. And uh, they've really got to keep uh, the chains on Pando Heart of Lions because they've shown that they're dangerous. And the ball just kicked inside. And Afum. Oh, but Afum was backing into his man. Pando out of Lions nail. And it's Edmund Uwuzwanza who has scored before from free kick situations for both Kodoko and Heart of Lions, interestingly enough. He would love to do it against his former club. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! That is absolutely brilliant! Well, That's oh my play. word. Well, Chris, two fantastic goals, but what a goal from that set piece. No answer whatsoever. And I tell you what, I was talking absolute nonsense when I said that Manu Uso was going to take the kick. It turned out to be Dana Quay. Well, what a turn up for the books and what a quick response. Very quick response. That is an absolute peach of a goal. It's a screamer. I mean, you can run out of all the adjectives, and this is the Globe Premier League. Look at that. 
Well, it looks like he's, he's caught him. He's caught him off guard there because he's actually going to go towards his left, Isaac Amarco. And when he realizes the ball is going to his right hand side, he just couldn't pedal back quickly enough. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best of the Globe Premier League you're watching, and it's brought to you live by kind courtesy of Rice Masters, official bill sponsor of the Black Stars. Not to mention, of course, the support given by Azar, Calibo, Enterprise, Stone Strong Lager, Sami Engineering, Malcolm, Politank, and West Africa. And it's a chance, an excellent tackle there by Aholu. Surely can play as well as keep goal. Gets the ball away. Well, our national team coach will be interested in that. But that was authority. We literally raced out. But all scores level here. And Heart of Lions will be heartened by that goal. Two exquisite goals, two left with the strikes. And boy, we have an afternoon to look forward to. The next hour or so. Nia Jay trying to find Afum. Well, this is where both teams have got to keep their nerves together now. And that is the national play. coach, Milovan Ryevac, flanked by his assistant, Kwesi Apia. They are watching the two goalkeepers, I can confirm. Isaac Amwako and Stephen Aholu. Perhaps one of them, or perhaps both of them, could make the train or the, the plane to uh, South Africa. Well, well, I tell you what, they'll be interested in both the players who who saw the back of the net as well, because uh, those were two fantastic strikes. And I tell you what, I've only seen one player in the Black Stars so far, Kudra Samoa. By Haruna Ganiyu. Oh, that's not a bad pass. And Bafo Jan. That's a penalty. And it is a penalty. That's going to be a penalty, He's won the Chris. penalty. He has won the penalty. He gets a yellow card to boot, Chris. Well, in such situations, you would expect Stephen Aholu to have been given a red card. So perhaps he has been very fortunate to still be on the pitch. We'll take a look at what happened. He was going to go for goal. Well, there's no two ways about that. Jan plays the ball past the keeper, just touches it away. Intelligent play there, tempts the keeper. The keeper falls for the bait, and it's a penalty. And the psychological blow you were talking about is probably just about going to happen. Well, I tell you what, though, for obvious reasons we will not go into. If Connacht will win this game, we'll all go home happy. No two is about that. Well, let's see who's going to take the penalty. It's actually going to be Michael Oposwapia. Can he bring the scores to two goals to one? He's experienced. He knows what he has to do. Well, Aholo, it's all up to you. Well, he saves the ball, and the chance for Konoko to go ahead has been gone. Well, Chris, I tell you what, uh, for Coach Miller Van Ryavak, he's seen a keeper that he can bring into the Black Stars. But for Kumasi Asante Konoko, the psychological blow they would want to deal right now has gone a begging. Well, the referee is not, is not interested in that this time around. And Heart of Lions get the ball away. And I think the Heart of Lions themselves have struck the psychological blow with that save. I'm telling you. But we always knew it with Stephen Aholu. This is a goalkeeper who hasn't been given the best of opportunities to prove himself. But he does it on this occasion once again for Panda Heart of Lions. And everybody giving him high five. Got to be careful. Yeah, you better get up. <laughs> Here he goes now. No challenge. And Fiamenor. And that is the end of what has been a thoroughly absorbing game. And at all level, Kodoko's winless run will continue. But they'll be looking back at a missed penalty at the end of the first half, which probably should have gotten them the three points. A holy for my money, one of the best players on the pitch. And Kumasi Asante Kodoko will be looking back at what might have been. But clearly, a lot still needs to be done by Kumasi Asante Kodoko. For Heart of Lions, a well won point. And not a bad game for the referee as well. And Fiamenyo will be cursing the stars with those missed opportunities. But a full time from the Babanyara Sports Stadium, it is Kumasi Asante Kodoko 1, 
Panda Heart of Lions, one. Thank <laughs> you.